right, who here likes to play some pool? Raise your hand. Perfect, perfect. Who likes to lose when they play pool? No one? Um, All right. Yeah. Well, guys, today I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips on <clears throat> how to shoot pool correctly on your posture and stuff so that you guys can enhance your shot accuracy. Now, according to the UPA, which is the United States Pool <clears throat> Players Association, some of the stuff you need are obviously pool balls, pool table, cues, and if I want some chalk, those are like the basic supplies you need. Next, yeah, we're just going to get right into it. So, obviously when the game starts, you break, <coughs> you decide who's playing what balls. Let's say, for example, you make a solid, right? So you're playing whatever. The first thing you're going to want to do, this is the first step, is analyze the table, look for what shot you're going to want to go for, and always look for the cue first. That's another thing. That's one of the, the basic rules for the UPA is... Um, you always have to hit the cue first before you make one of your own balls, otherwise it's a scratch. So always do that before you take any shots, because I've seen people hit <coughs> the wrong balls and they obviously scratch, give the team points. So do that. Once you do that, the next step you want to do is your stance. So do one of you guys want to uh, volunteer? Yeah? Okay. So you can just stand right here. So let's say which one here would you want to hit? Analyze the table first. The one. Okay, so he's going for the yellow, right? So you're gonna want to work on your stance first. Now, according to uh, Colorado State University, they have a page on uh, pool tricks and pool tips and stuff like that. They just give you a bunch of tips, and they say that you want to have a uh, stable stance when you're shooting pool. So, yeah, I normally just put like shoulder length. My legs are like shoulder length and. I, I normally face the pool ball, but it all depends on how, as long as you're comfortable, as long as, yeah, you kind of just feel like stable. So get in a position where you're okay. comfortable, okay? Now, once you got a stable position, you know where you're shooting, what you're gonna wanna do next is focus on the cue. So another one of the tips that the uh, Colorado State University page gives you is you always, when you're shooting, you always wanna have like a, the cue always has to be firm, right? So when you're shooting, you don't want the stick to be wobbling and stuff like that. So get in your, get in your stance and your okay. position. And <clears throat> it, it all depends on how you want to hold the stick. Some people, I mean, some people hold it like that. I, I hold it like that. As long as the stick doesn't wobble, that's all that matters. So hold the stick however you feel most comfortable with. Okay. Test it out, okay, it's firm. The next thing, Next step you want to do is the way you position your uh, elbow. So you want to have it kind of like at a 90 degree angle and you never want to move this part. You always just want to move your forearm back and forth. So see, you see how the elbow doesn't go down? Because if you shoot and the, the, your elbow comes down, it can like kind of mess up your shot. So remember stance, elbow, and the cue's got to be firm. So go ahead and do all the steps I gave you. So you, you already analyzed, you're going for that one. Yeah, one ball. Okay, so get in your stance. stance. Firm position on the cue. Voila, there you go. Okay, so everyone got all the steps there? Okay, yep, can you, yep. uh, what do you guys repeat what the steps are? Okay, what is the, what is the first thing you want to do? Uh, you you want to analyze the table. Okay. What do you want to do next? You want to decide what ball you're going to hit and get in the right stance. Okay. You get your stance, and then what are you going to want to do when you get your stance? Um, you want to make sure your elbows are 90 degree angle. Elbows 90 degree angle. Okay. And oh, I forgot another thing. When you're shooting, you normally want to. I saw you do it, cause, but you always want to have your head the, where you're going to shoot kind of like your, your eyesight, you know, straight. Otherwise, if you're like down here, you can misjudge the shot. So always look directly where you're gonna shoot. But yeah, other than that, I mean, if you, the, the more you do it, the easier it gets. So just practice and stuff like that. And I mean, yeah, it'll just become a lot easier with time. So you just keep practicing those steps and 
yeah, you'll become a pretty darn good pool player. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, well, you guys all like playing pool. Uh, do what I told you, follow those steps, practice, and enjoy winning. Appreciate it. Oh, and do you guys have any questions at all? How often should you chalk your cue? <laughs> you probably, I mean, it depends on, you always want to have it chalked, but I probably chalk it probably once every three shots. I mean, you can just look at it like when the tip of it kind of turns black, that's when you want to just chalk it up. You always, it depends on the color, but like you always, for instance, this is like a maroon. Just chalk it up to where like the tip's all maroon and then, yeah. Otherwise you can like break the end of the stick and stuff like that, so. But yeah, all right, appreciate you guys. Yeah, you can stop it.